within our community. This is a hard, this is a harsh reality. This is horrible within our community. Can you just get, you know, can you speak on <coughs> that aspect of, you know, somebody out, uh, what, what they call, um, how, how do they say it? sorting your royal oats? Is that how they say it? Yeah, I think the, the selling your royal oats or whatever, the oats, whatever they call it, right? I think the problem is they, they, they're under the assumption, which I think is a poor assumption, is that the more sex you have, the less, the more prepared you're going to get and you're going to not need that variety anymore. So now you're going to calm down because you had all the all the different right. strands of right. sex. You didn't have the big booty woman. You didn't have the little thin woman. You didn't have the petite woman. You didn't have all the different types of uh, women. Now you now you can settle down because you didn't try it all. You know, so now you, you, you can calm down, which uh, that's not necessarily always true. Right. Because, I mean, right. just think about it. People become addicted to it. It, it. it also breeds a certain type of mentality that is unfaithful and it, and it becomes very difficult to cut that off. Instead mm. of saying, look, bro, learn how to be disciplined. And if you slip up or whatever happened, you know, you, you're being held accountable, whereas it's giving you permission to act a fool. And, and it, it, it just doesn't work. It's kind of like saying, look, go ahead and snort all the drugs and take all the cocaine and right, have right. all the get weed and do all these different things so that when you get older, you won't want any more of that. You've worn yourself out of that. Right. You no, know, there's men out here that's 50 and 60, and you should hear the things that they're saying out of their mouths because I counsel women and I counsel men. And you should hear the things that these sisters who are single, when they come to meet a, man, a, a, a male, um, and the things that he is still saying. In fact, the things that those men were probably saying who were probably 30 and 40 when you were 20, you know, she, she should ask them, what age are you going to grow up? Mm. Yeah, it's, 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 a, it's, it's, a, it's a it's a serious situation, bro. And no longer can we, you know, can we sign on, you know, sign on, you know, the, the, the behaviors that we have out in our community now here you are now you out smashing you still doing your thing now you got somebody pregnant now you got another woman pregnant mm -hmm. now you got now you got so-called two baby mamas that you have <laughs> you know and then sometimes they go to three baby mamas now you know and they and, and 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 most of the time it's not a real cool relationship you mm -hmm. know and now not on top of that economically when we talking about the black community getting ourselves together now you got child support that you're paying for three three children mm -hmm, at a time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's talk about the emotional impact of just that aspect, bro. I mean, for for us going out having as much fun as we want to talk talk about that, bro. Yeah, I think that's the other problem. So, I mean, if our dear uh, elders would say go out there and don't do anything to, until you're thirty, which I also think is an issue. Um. Um. But that would be better. It's like, so now go sell your royal oats and maybe it doesn't really matter how many children you make. But I guess <laughs> you shouldn't make children, you know, you shouldn't make children until you're 30. Or, you know, that makes no sense even biologically. Like nobody should wait that long, you know. But the trauma that comes about as a result of there not being a two parents in the household is pretty significant. Um, because your mommy never liked your daddy and your daddy never liked that her your mommy. And when your mommy is frustrated and, and say, get out and I don't want to see you again. Now you're trying to figure out why daddy is not there. And mommy didn't told you all types of things or daddy didn't told you all types of things. It, it now has a child growing up and saying, why did my daddy or why did not my mommy care about me enough to stick here with me, to be mm. in a relationship with my mother? You know, then it also has this, it, it creates this piece of I'm comparing, you know, other households, although it's becoming more common that, you know, people aren't really together. Um, but really, it does cause a lot of trauma and it causes a lot of um, conflict in the mind of our children, which creates a, a pattern of these right. things. Although right. that child often says, I don't want to ever do what my father did. But the reality is the more you're not trying to be a thing, you become a thing if, if, if you focus on it too Deeply, I'm not. Uh, uh, Simbi gonna get me for that one. I'm, 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 I'm saying Simbi type stuff now. <laughs> <laughs> Peace, brother Simbi. <laughs> Peace, brother Kwame. Yeah. Peace, brother Kwame. Brother Kwame, I wasn't talking about you either, man. You know me, brother. Brother Kwame said, "I wish I would have moved differently." I have three baby mo mothers. Something I'm not proud of. You know. Mm -hmm. I mean, but I, hey, look, he 
he ain't the only one. You know, it's some brothers out here that got four, five, six, seven, eight, nine baby mamas, you know, mm -hmm. that's, that's, that's out here right now, you know? And so the thing is, is that, is that economically good for our people? Is it emotionally good for a brother that's trying to build in the community, you know, uh, uh, trying to get his spiritual together, trying to get things together so that he can be, you know, take things to the next level. Is that good for our people? And so this is what some of the teaching has been in our community, especially, especially since NWA and a lot of these other folks <laughs> actually have been coming on, you know, so it's, so we got, we, we got to keep it real. I know people will say, why are you just blaming rap music? It's not, it's not just rap music. It's television in general. Uh, yeah, man, and 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 I tell you this. Then there's this assumption. Then there's this assumption that mm -hmm. black men just don't take care of their children. So mm -hmm. now, okay, you have these people with these baby mamas. So oh, let me put um. With... <laughs> we have these people now. Now they have baby. You know, all all, all of these baby mamas running around. In the community, oh, oh man, wait a minute, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold, on, hold on, hold on. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, one second. I cut this off. Right. <laughs> so now the 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 home. All these broken homes are now, and let's be honest, some people may get offended from this, uh, estrogen-filled homes, because now the dad is not in the house, he's not in the home, and now you just have the children, who are mostly, a lot of the times, with the mother, are now just with the mother, and now there's like an estrogen overload, to me, is one of the biggest problems in our community right now is these single parent homes that are really just, you know what I'm saying, really headed by a mother. But then there's the mother and father issue where, like you said, mom and dad don't get along with each other. They don't get along with each other. And now you have this child that's coming up, this young man who's at the snap of a, you know, somebody touch him, somebody poke him. And you're like, what you do? What you do this for? You know what I'm saying? His emotions are way out of control. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of times, you know, and not not all the time, because men are there. You know, they in the community. What What do you think about that, bro? I don't know. If, um, I would agree with the cause the causality. Um, I think that that might be one factor, right? Okay. Um, I think I'll um guard against saying that women are uh emotional and create emotional creatures. I mean, 